<clears throat> All right, so Jose, uh, good evening, Jose. Hi, teacher. Good. good evening. So, how are you? So how are you doing, Jose? Is everything good? I'm good. All right, so that's good. So Tuesday, Tuesday, December the 8th, all right? After this class, you know, two more days and you're gonna be a free man, okay? <laughs> how, are you, how are you doing, Tanya? Good to see you. Uh, Hello. Fine. That's great. That's great. Okay. All right. Um, let's see who's in this meeting already. We have uh, Jose, Raquel, and we have you also, Tanya, and also Nati is joining this meeting right now. Nice. Let's see. So, Tanya, did you finish the platform already? What about you, Jose? Did you finish already? Yes, I did. All right. No, I, uh, module five. Okay. Five. Okay. But you don't have any issues, so you have no problem completing the platform over there. Bueno, ahora, ahora ya no me metí, pero. Uh, the Phoenix is, uh, exam. So, uh -huh. so, so you're just missing the final exam. So that's what you're telling final me, right? Exam. Mm -hmm. Final exam right now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the final exam is not too complicated, I will say. Okay. Well, you know, what happens sometimes is that when you are working on the platform, if you don't enter, let's say, a comma or a, or a period, let's say, punctuation mark, but if you if you don't do like the question mark or the the word in capital letter in mayuscula, so that's a problem. So that's why the system does not recognize your response over there. So and and that's a problem over there. Okay. All right. So just. I'll take a look at my screen over here. Um. Let's see, I'm going to be spending, let's say like five minutes before everybody else joins this class to help you with the final exam over here, all right? I'm not going to give you, let's say like the answers because that's not correct. I would say that's not ethical. And I would say that that's not gonna help you either improve or to become better at English, okay? The first exercise, it's a listening, as you can see over here. And the good thing about this platform is, as you know, is that you can uh, take the listening and complete the exercises as many times as you want, okay? So there are no limits attempts over here, okay? So no, no hay limites uh, no, para, para los intentos que usted pueda hacer, okay? And I, I remember also giving you some advice on this. If there's a listening, first, Please get familiar with both the question and the options that you have over there. For example, over here you have Jen likes her new apartment because it has two bedrooms, there's too much noise, it's cheaper than her old apartment. As you can see, out of these three options, A, B, and C, I would say A and C are just two possible options. Why? Because the statement says Jen likes her new apartment because there's too much noise. I don't think if you are a normal person, you're going to like something, or I would say a neighborhood or your house, if it's too noisy. Si los, si los vecinos son ruidosos, I don't think you're going to like it. All right. So A and B will be just the two possible answers over there. On number two, it says Seth. I uh, wants to live downtown because maybe it's less expensive 
he works there, there are more parking spaces, okay? Here, there's a mistake. More needs to be separate from parking. Aquí se equivocaron al, al escribir esto, all right? So they made a mistake over here. So now you know that we're talking about uh, parking spaces or why said wants to live downtown because you have three options over there, okay? And then uh, question number three, you have Karen's apartment is maybe it's too small, too spacious, too private, etc. All right? So. And I'm sorry about that. And then let's see number number four. It says, Doug, which is his new apartment were? On the floor, nice and bright or not as cramped as his old apartment. Cramped means apretado, demasiado pequeño y con muchas personas, ¿verdad? Con poco espacio. That's the meaning of cramped, all right? And then, so my suggestion for you, everyone, is to play the listening, let's say two times, and just to play it and listen and just check, all right? Just like this, all right? So you don't have you don't have to be a hundred percent sure about your responses over there, and then you just click over there and you just click submit. If you get a response incorrect, just play the listening again. You can play forward. You know you can forward this uh, listening and you just take it from there. Okay, that's a good thing over there. All right, that's the way I would do it. Okay, that's how I would do it. Now this is the final exam. Okay. What about the vocabulary? For the vocabulary, you just have to choose. This is also a multiple choice, okay? It says, I love my neighborhood. It's very, maybe dangerous, safe, and inconvenient. So I don't think that a, that a normal person will love or will like his neighborhood or her neighborhood if it's dangerous, if, if you can get killed. No creo que le va a gustar su, su, su vecindario si lo van a matar, ¿verdad? Or if it's dangerous over there. So I don't think this is correct, all right? It's very safe, but it's inconvenient. So I would say inconvenient, that's negative, all right? Maybe it's too far away from your job. So this is contradictory, all right? Number two, I live on a very busy street. I can get a little bit, it can get a little bit noisy modern or spacious okay as you can see over here what about number three remember this is just vocabulary it says it's it's what comfortable to have parking spaces near my apartment it's convenient to have parking spaces near, near my apartment or is it dingy All right dingy means Dairy, o sea, sucio, pero sucio así que estás demacrado o algo así olvidado, o sea, bien, bien eh, sucio, all right, that's dingy, all right, y descuidado también, that's the meaning of dingy. Whatever. What about number four? Our house is modern and very bright. It has huge windows, cramped windows, or private windows, all right, huge is very, very big, o sea, espaciosos o inmensas. That's the meaning of huge over there, okay? So you click on submit, and again, everyone, if you get a response incorrect, you just take the quiz again until you get everything correct, okay? No solamente nos conformemos con el 80%. If you can get 100% out of these uh, exercises, that'd be better for you, okay? Now, uh, the next grammar is this one, enough and not enough. As you know, enough means suficiente. And not enough means no suficiente, all right? O suficientemente. For example, you have, our apartment is too small. There are not space enough, no rooms enough, not enough rooms, okay? This is just grammar, which I'm going to be explaining today and tomorrow, okay? Next one, it says, people can see into our house. There is not privacy enough, not enough privacy, not enough speed over there. Lo que importa aquí es el orden de cómo va. Si va enough, it goes at the end, or if it goes before, if it goes in the middle. Eso es lo que vamos a aprender el día de hoy y el día de mañana, all right? My car is too small. It doesn't have 
not as it doesn't have not not space enough it doesn't have enough space it doesn't have no space all right so that's basically what it is and the last one it has as many or as much as many with countable nouns and as much with uncountable si usted va a decir aceite o si va a decir dinero you're going to use match all right if you want to use time you got to use as much all right if you want to say patience, paciencia, you got to use as much, all right? If you want to say as many friends, because you can count your friends, like you, you have five friends, two friends, one friend, et cetera. You got to use as many, all right? As many of them. Okay. And it's also a multiple choice. It says, my apartment doesn't have, I don't know, many windows, my old one. It doesn't have much windows. De hecho, aquí se equivocaron. Los que hicieron esto se equivocaron porque hace falta una parte de la gramática, si se fijan. Is as 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 many right in this one, but we're gonna be studying this. It says number two, our house is as convenient your apartment as convenient as as a convenient etc. Over there, okay. Number three, modern apartments often don't have as many space as much space as as uh, I would say convenient older ones. This is just grammar, okay grammar which we're going to be studying tonight all right and then the last one i would say is expressing wishes okay like this example it says my parents won't buy me a car i wish they would buy me a car over here vamos a ponerlos en, en, en mute over here eh, just one second over here You know, I think it's necessary for us to review this, okay, this grammar. And, you know, I'm sorry if I'm doing this right now with you, if you didn't ex expect this. But remember, the 80% of, of all the exercises are going, is going to give you the passing score for you to continue studying at Inglés Corporativo, or at least to be part of INSA4 program, okay? The next one is expressing wishes. I don't like my new job. I wish, and they have three options over there. Maybe I wish it were more fun. I wish more fun. I wish it was more fun. You have three options in there. Again, otra vez, we're going to be studying this today and also tomorrow, all right? Or during the end of the uh, uh, Wednesday, I would say. I can find my new cell phone. I wish I can find it. I wish I could find it. I wish find it, all right? Number three, my boyfriend is in good, is in, in good shape. I wish he in good shape. He was in good shape. He were in good shape, etc. Okay. And you see, está bastante largo el, el, el final exam. Si se fijaron, ¿verdad? Ya llevo como quizás cinco minutos o quizás más haciendo esto. Right? So this is giving you, I would say, some, uh, some idea what you, or what you uh, ladies and gentlemen, are going to be expecting in the final exam. All right? It's not difficult, okay? It's not difficult, but I would say it's a little bit long. You see what we started yesterday, present perfect versus simple past, all right? You have, have you ever, you know, it's the past participle what you got to use over here, it's Spanish word. B, it's a conversation. Yes, I have. And over here, it says to a Spanish restaurant last week. ¿Qué dijimos ayer? So what did we say yesterday? If it's a specific, it's a simple past. If it's in general, is that person perfect, all right? Number three, did you? Of course, this is the simple pass, right? Number four, yes, all right? Number three, that question, and number four, the answer. You gotta choose one over here, okay? And then you click on next. What's next over here? The future with will and be going to, okay? And then you have future with will and be going to what you going to do after class today, or maybe what are you gonna do after class today, or what are you gonna, what are you going to after class today? Grammar again, and definitely, I don't know, uh, going to watch a movie, or and definitely will watch a movie. Watch la gramática de esta oración le da la pista. All right, you know, grammar gives you, uh, you know, the heads up over here. Number three, it says when, 
they take are going to take, etc. And then we continue over there. And there's another one over there. It says reading comprehension, and this is the last one. And then you click on this arrow. It's going to open the uh, the file on on a drive on Google, so you can have it as a as an image in there, just like this. You can you can zoom in this, and you just read it. Okay, that's one option. Another option is to click over here. All right, but I don't really suggest that. And then you have the options. How do you do a reading? First of all, pero esto esto lo vamos a practicar eh, mañana. Cómo hacer una lectura quizás más comprensible, all right? Because you gotta scan, scan the document and scan the information over there. So uh, one thing is to look for for details, and, and the other thing is to understand what the, the text is, is telling you, right? For comprehension over there. So, so tomorrow we're gonna be studying uh, techniques, you know, for reading techniques over here that are gonna help you learn fast, all right? And I would say faster than the average. Uh, person okay and this is the last one so what do you think about this final exam all right so i don't think it's complicated i don't think it's uh difficult but it's a little bit long it's a lot of work all right it's a lot of work so that's what i'm saying over here okay questions opinions comments about this all right or something that you would like to say to your classmates just to tell them, like, hey, pay attention to, I don't know, to the present perfect or pay attention to enough grammar, okay? Something that you would like to share to, you know, with your classmates, anybody? Alguien que quiera compartir, no sé, su experiencia, his or her experience. Yo ya hice esto, pueden decir, I did this already. And please be careful with, uh, I don't know, with the reading because it's a little bit tricky, verdad? No sé si alguien quiere compartir su experiencia, si ya hizo esta parte. Ah, Either in English or Spanish, so that's okay. If it's in English, that's even better. All right. Okay. Go ahead, please, Vanessa. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, in my case, uh, the, this is a part of the exam complete but only paying attention to how do you say lectura comprensiva uh, i would say uh comprehension reading comprehension reading comprehension reading comprehension only the option the 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 answer only the easy easy yeah and, mm -hmm. it's easy it, it just takes time right and how long did you take like how long did you take uh, does it take did it take you Vanessa. So, like, how much time did you spend? Like, if you remember, like half an hour, an hour, or I don't know, 15 minutes, if you remember. Around 20 minutes. Okay, so around 20 minutes over there. All right. Around 20 minutes. So, everyone, so it's possible, right? Let's say 20 minutes won't kill you, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, in 20 minutes, you can watch. Uh, I don't know, a video on YouTube. So instead of being watching videos on YouTube or checking your Facebook, you can do this. I know you don't do that because you are very busy. <laughs> yes, en lugar de estar viendo memes, ¿verdad? Yo sé que no lo hacen, ¿verdad? Pero pues sí. está, no, la ten, está la tentación por ahí, ¿verdad? Está la tentación, de, o, o TikTok, ¿verdad? Que es, es bien. Eh, I don't I like say, TikTok. I don't have TikTok, you know, but that's what people say. I don't know right? TikTok, I don't know. Yes. All right. That's it. That's all I, I, I have to say about this platform. I uh, remember that we gotta be a little bit a little bit smart with the system. Why? Because the midterm and the final exam are the ones that give you higher scores. O sea, they are, they are the ones that give you the most percentages. O sea, si usted pierde los knowledge checks, verdad? But if you get 80% above on the midterm exam and the final exam you're going to pass this module, all right? But my target for you is to help you practice English, okay? And right now I just spent 20 minutes, you know, talking about this. So let's get to practice, please. You know, that's, that's my goal over here. My goal, mi objetivo with you, everyone, right now. So let me just one second, all right? So one moment over here. 
and um, okay let me just get the presentation right i have it here so uh, as, you, as you were able to see in there i'm still missing to help you review the grammar like enough as much as as many as etc okay and also the sequence the sequence adverse of sequence and the wheel versus going to and then just reading comprehension techniques over there but i think we're going to be able to cover everything between today and and tomorrow all right but you gotta help me out so one second here um okay so as you can see uh today is uh tuesday december the 8th 2020 and uh we're gonna start with the words of, of the date uh, as follow over here all right so one second i think this is going to be uh, this is you or this is uh, everybody at, at some point that you feel that you are very stressed because you have so many things to do uh, at your work or you're very busy at home nobody helps you and you're about to i would say to explode okay sometimes you lose your temper with your family members i would say with your brother with your son with your daughter etc or with your mom or with anybody else over there okay so the word that i have for you this evening is to fly off the handle okay and this means let's come away of saying to lose one's temper to get very angry all right and i have this example i'm sorry i flew off the handle at you yesterday but i was having such a bad day in spanish this would be as you can see Los temper, perder los estribos, ¿verdad? Sacarse de las casillas, as you can see in here, all right? You see here the Spanish translation over here. Perder el control, ponerse como loco, you know, some people say this in some South American countries, 